All right, guys. So we've got the most traditional of European matchups today with Snooper on English and Back Magoon on French. So we've got one of the Korean hopefuls against one of the Aussie hopefuls here today. So Snooper villages on all three of his starting resources to each. He's going to send a third in the food. And then have one build houses from there. So build a mill and a house from there. Back Magoon being French, everything straight on the food. He'll follow up with some gold and then the wood fairly slow in comparison. Man, this game's so pretty. So pretty early mill here for our English player, but he will be able to start getting his wheelbarrow not too long after this. The third villager on the wood. Then we go wheelbarrow and then start producing farms from there. Well, back Magoon. Going to start his gold gathering now. He's up to seven villagers on the food. He'll get a couple on the gold, go for some more on the food. Another on the gold, and then go for the wood, most likely. Oh, yep, up to three on the gold. Yeah. So, farm production starting now for our English player. He hasn't actually offset the farms, he's not even bothering to. I don't know whether you call that confident or lazy. Because realistically you can get one more, well two more farms. One more farm each side, basically. And two more farms under the, the radius of the one mil. The English Town Center really hurts, doesn't it, with the base double damage. Chinese Town Center hits even harder, but not as frequently. It's got a big gun. Big boom boom. Here we go, Snooper. Now going for some weird shit, but actually, no, this isn't so bad, because when it's right next to the Town Center, he actually gets that perfect drop off anyway. Just weird, because, I mean, he could have put it right in here anyway. I don't know. People make strange decisions with farms. Anyway, that's enough about Snooper's farms. Because Back Magoon, School of Cavalry coming out now. He's got some wood gathering now. Still got three on the gold. Two making the School of Cav. Was up to nine on the food, but now he's back to seven. And now back to four, because he's going to actually get quite a bit of wood. So, Back Magoon. Four food, six, now seven wood and three gold. He's looking to get a mill for a follow up um, wheelbarrow at this point. That's a lot of wood to get behind that, so I suppose he wants to get the house and maybe even get a range as well. Snooper. Five farms and aging up. And he has got wheelbarrow now as well. So, three villagers making the council hall versus... There's only one now on the School of Cavalry, so it's going to actually be quite late for Back Magoon. Even though he got it really early, having not deviated to get Wheelbarrow till he was throwing it down. In fact, Back Magoon can get Wheelbarrow now. Really, he just started getting the gold for it, but I think he wants to actually... Make sure he gets this town center as quickly as he can. But it's weird though, because I mean, he could fit in wheelbarrow here. But he 
Does he want to make sure he gets a knight first to pressure? It's funny, these guys are like using mallets. They're not even using like picks to mine, they're just using mallets. I suppose that's why you need to get specialized pick herder. So back Magoon. Are we gathering a little bit on gold? I mean on stone? Because I mean he's already at 300. He only needs 300 for the one town center, right? So what's he gathering another with another four villages for? Is he going to go double town center here? Yeah, so there's one town center going down, but Back Magoon's still gathering the gold as though he's... I mean, the wood and the stone as though he's going to go for a second. Hasn't started any night production at all, while Snooper... He's now got his, nearly all his villages on the council hall, and does have his own resources for a second town center. So I think these guys are both going to try really playing around... Uh, feudal Boom Eco, I guess... Because, yeah, it does look like Backmagoon's going to go for a third town center before he even fields any army here. Or I suppose it could even go 3 TC in age. But, I mean, that's ridiculously greedy. But, yeah, French player. Still on the stone, still on the wood. He's going to be looking at aid, uh, going for a third town center here, but... Meanwhile, Snooper, not a lot in the bank, so I guess, yeah, he's just looking at massing up the archers now. He's streaming them across the map, wants to look at towering up on the gold mine there. So not a bad idea, because I mean, Back Magoon's going to have a TC directly on it, so he really wants to now go for a 3 TC fast castle, I guess, or 3 TC and at least get enough knights that he can hold on to get to whatever he needs to do. While well, Snooper, meanwhile, already streaming Bowman across. I mean, if they meet the knight it, uh, or the horseman, it won't be great for them, but there is going to be a barracks following up. And bearing in mind, while well, Snooper's going to be down a town center, I don't know if Back Magoon can really afford to field knights until this town center is finished for a little bit. Because 3 TC worker eco is pretty expensive early on. So, palace, uh, the palings, sorry, I was going to say palace, place. The palings, only going to be so useful for Snooper. He's not going to be able to get in with a nice juicy tower on Back Magoon's third town center, but he's going to go for a low ground outpost now, and I think he might be able to keep mounting the pressure from there, because bearing in mind, Back Magoon's really still only able to afford horsemen off this economy. He needs to get, you know, six or seven villages on the gold. He needs to get... More villagers on the food to really be able to afford continuous triple villager and uh, knight production. So even though Snoop is dropping a couple of spears, uh, a couple of bowmen, he's now got spears heading out so he can really turn the tide and keep the pressure going. But back Magoon, he needs to yeah, possibly look at shifting towards the knights now that he's got a couple of rounds of villagers out. He is struggling to maintain Vill production, even though he's gone triple villager. He's only got one in queue at the moment. He's still producing plenty. He needs to probably cancel the archers and make sure he actually makes as best use of this triple town center as possible. Because right now, he needs that Vill differential to really make up for the fact that he's quite down significantly in terms of army production. Like English, basically have two rangers with their council hall, plus the barracks. The barracks basically is offsetting your school of cavalry, and you've got to add your own two rangers, which I mean, Back Magoon's doing now, but he's, yeah, still struggling to maintain triple villager production through all this. He's only just getting the food for it, and he's over investing it in producing archers, which I mean, archers are definitely helpful, but he needs to, yeah, keep the bills incoming. Focusing on his archer production is pretty good in the sense that it means he gets the spear numbers thinned out so he can actually get his horsemen onto the enemy longbowmen before they clean up all his archers. 
It sounds so paradoxical fighting the English, but it is what it is. You gotta do what you gotta do. Snape with a bit of a missed micro on one of the long bowmen there, but might actually work out in his favour now. Back Magoon seems to have cleaned up Snooper's initial force here. But still struggling with that Trown Center, that Vill production. So he definitely needs... He's gone on the Knights now already, but he, yeah, he probably needed to go straight on the food so he can maintain triple Vill production through all this. And Snooper in the meanwhile, still only two Town Centers, so he's not doing anything too boomy, not really banking up. 4H3 just uh, yet, although he has got a bit of gold floated. He's going to start getting blacksmith techs though. Actually he might look at getting towards H3, but bearing in mind English food eco is ridiculous. And he probably wants to get Broadaxe and Horticulture pretty quickly given how wooden food biased the early English eco is. But for now, yeah, he's just adding spears, he's adding bows, but he's sort of half assedly adding them. Because the beauty of the council hall, you know, you produce them in half the time of a regular range, so you sort of can dick around a little bit. Especially because bowmen are so strong, and it is it is quite easy to overmake long bowmen. Like, 7 second train time, and you're going to have it from the start of age 2. Meanwhile, he, you know, he wants to make sure he's got enough melee. He's even upgrading his man at arms, so he really wants to smash those out, but at the same time, he's going to struggle for the food because man at arms, they don't cost a lot of gold, but they cost stacks of food. And if you're trying to go for age up as well, yeah, he's really going to have to grow his food eco and go for a second mill here. Back Magoon in the meanwhile. He's uh, got the carbon, well, he's got bloomery for free. Iron under mesh coming in, so very useful text for him to have. Even just getting a blacksmith for French gives you an armory upgrade for free, so it's often time worth it for them just to throw one down. Other sieves, it's very easy to, you know, to field and a blacksmith too early. So things are looking much better for Back Magoon now. He's got that Triple villager production happening consistently. But he's had a couple of minutes where he really struggled with maintaining it there, where he'd had three village or well, three town centers down and he had a couple of ranges and he's got archers stacked up in the ranges, nothing happening at the town centers. Snoop has been putting good pressure on here and the longbows do outrange the archers, so you've got to keep that in mind. That the archers are going to have to come forward to chase the longbows and not vice versa. It's very, very hard to engage the English army. And quite easy for them to just hit and run. Even with a smaller force, but now... Now Snape has managed to leash back Magoon to the edge of his tower radius. So the fight really does start to go his way. The longbowmen now really start to be a threat. Because not only do they have extra damage and range over a regular bow, uh, archer. They end up with much more attack speed as well when they're fighting under their own towers. So back Magoon, having to try and wall off here but sort of unsuccessful so this is really going to be great for Snooper to keep applying the pressure and force him to have to try and get some knights out. He's actually going for chivalry first before he's got any knights. Which is really interesting because people generally would opt to try and train two to three nights first because it takes the train time of two nights and because it's not going to be of any benefit until it finishes. I mean, yeah, until it finishes and it's healing knights that have already been in fights. So Snooper now, his man-at-arms coming in with the rest of the push, he's still in feudal, so... And both players being in feudal, the French player slow on the knights and here, even with chivalry, is opting for horsemen instead of knights now with no knights, man-at-arms can really sit on top of the archers and fulfill the same job as knights or as horsemen and force archers to keep having to retreat, keep having to kite and uh, not just sit there poking down opponents. 
So Snip is actually going to focus down the Horseman first because he knows that's his biggest drama here. If he can take them out, he may much just afford to sit back and outrange the Archers of Black Magoon, who's having to add a whole bunch of stables here. But again, he's not... He's not really fielding any knights. He's playing no knights French, and I think it would really work well for him because, I mean, Snooper's cut spear production. I mean, he's only got two more spears heading in now. He's, yeah, he's, he's only just restarting spear production, though. So for a brief moment, Back Magoon would have really, really been best off adding some knights if he could. He definitely had the resources to, and I mean, he's adding them now, but... He's going to wait for Veteran Tech to kick in. I mean, which is handy coming out of the Scholar Cab. It's 20% faster, but... Even still, he's going to struggle... Um, if Snooper decides to push here. He got Chivalry so early without having the Knights to actually cover for his Bowman. It's been a rough one for him. He has got the Royal Institute, so he can actually take these Techs cheaply. And he's even got access to the Age 4 improvements like uh, bloodline so if you can get if you can squeeze that in that'd be huge meanwhile back at home snooper's working towards his age three he's not far off it he's got the gold just needs a bit more food and his food eco has really come out ahead now he's up to five saturated mills and he's really from here, the English player just has infinite food from the comfort of their own base, and they can really just decide to fight the Feudal Age trash war, or go towards Castle and get the heavy armor units. Because, I mean, you know, they've obviously got access to the Man at Arms in Feudal as well. Really quite devastating. You know, they're one of those teams that really forces French to have to field knights, just like HRE. I mean, just like uh, Rus and HRE as well, because they've also got access to um, heavy units early on. And this is rough for Backmagoon, because uh, Snooper's only got a handful of man at arms over here, and he's picking off some Vils. Don't know if Backmagoon's actually realized that. Uh, yeah, that's a really nice pick off. For Snooper, he's found four or five Vils, and he's also continuing to apply the pressure back at home. So now back Magoon realizing, I think Snooper must have attacked the wall at the same time, eh? I suppose the ping of the outpost as well. But yeah, back Magoon missing the fact that he was dropping a couple of villages there. He brought the second lot back home, and now he's coming to clean this up, but... Well, now he's got to leave something to try and babysit this, or at least take out these mounted arms. And now, you know, six knights is worth a lot more than five mounted arms. Snooper could decide to push, or decide to sit here making rams, and really get a lot of value out of this. He's going to drop the mounted arms, but they've got their value, killing the vills. Black Magoon, 130 pop. Snooper, not actually a head-on population at all. I've never actually seen anyone use setup camp, but Snooper is. It's a really useful tech because it regenerates all your longbowmen, and on top of that, grants you slightly extra vision. So while he's here, he actually gets a good idea of uh, what's going on. You can see knights snacking, if they were stacking up here a little bit easier. He's going to see them anyway from his outpost. Well, Back Magoon really doesn't see anything beyond the comforts of his walls at the moment, so... It's a really daunting spot to be in. He's only a couple of hundred resources ahead, and he probably doesn't feel like he's ahead at all. You know, the English player is inside his base, has reinforced towers, has sprinkled towers. And yeah, every time Back Magoon's tried to wall in sort of this midsection of the map, he's been interrupted. At both of his flanks, he's been all right. But yeah, sort of this mid to upper side, he's really copped it. So from here, he's just trying to get some more upgrades. He's even getting Siege Engineering, just so he can fit in some rams. Defensive keep just to guard all of his production. But Snoop is able to take the map behind this, bear in mind. 
So, I mean, English, obviously, they're food gathering. Just insane. Oh, Back Magoon must have had so many idle vills there. I saw 93 for his food count. Oh, he's actually pulling a lo most of his villagers. Everything other than his food gatherers, Back Magoon has pulled to come and take the fight. He's really pulling the, balls he the boys here. He wants to make sure he wins this because he's focusing down the outpost while the armies clash. I think he might have just enough to actually win this trade. But... <sighs> He might even be best off having the villagers attack the bowmen at this stage because it's going to take forever for them to kill the outpost. And Snooper is focusing down all the archers as best he can. He's even ignoring the villas because he knows if he wipes out the army, he gets free reign to focus down the villagers. The tower is even focusing down the units. So Back Magoon still streaming more units in, but he's looking pretty skint behind this. He's run out of gold, so there's no more knights for him. He's only going to be able to stream Longbowmen, and, well, that's pretty much it. He doesn't even, I mean, sorry, Back Magoon's only going to be able to stream Horsemen. He doesn't even really have the wood for Archers, while Snooper, plenty in the bank at the moment. He's actually going to go for his Wingard Palace, so he's going to have access to super cheap armies. It's a nice mixed composition of an arm, of a man at arm Spear, Longbow, Knight, and Trebuchet. Basically everything except a Crossbowman that you need at a discount training all at once it takes about a minute to train the units though so it is a bit of a population lockup but in terms of cost it saves you so much and right now back magoon things are scary he managed to get most of his villagers out of there uh, but he lost nearly all, well he lost all of his army and now it's rough for him to try and gather gold here this is pretty much his only gold source that's easy for him to gather from and now he you know he basically can't he's gonna to have to try and nab the relic he doesn't even have the gold to train a uh, monk at the moment so he can't even grab the gold from the relic he can't get over here on these golds because there's already towers here well actually he probably could but he's gonna get found out so back Magoon just trying to get on the gold again but GG, well played. I don't think he realised he did have a shot at this gold. It's sort of too difficult for him to keep going. And Snooper takes the game.